Hi, I'm Miles and this is the Make with Miles channel. Today we're going to be making a robot mask. Let's go. First I started off with some sketching to figure out what I wanted to do. For the basic structure of the mask, I bought a PDF pattern from Evil Ted Smith's website. I'll leave a link below so you can go check them out. I printed the pattern, taped and cut out all the parts, and then copied them to my EVA foam. Once the pattern was transferred to the foam, I proceeded to cut it with a sharp blade. There are two identical pieces on each side of the mask, so I clamped those together and took them to the belt sander to clean them up. I heated up a few pieces, and while they were hot, I was able to create some curve, which helps to create the overall shape of the mask. I then used contact cement and applied glue to the edges of the foam that were going to be glued together. After the glue set up for about 15 minutes, I applied heat, and then stuck the parts together. Once the three main parts were together, I took them to the belt sander and cleaned up any spots that were sticking out too much. I created a headband to hold the mask to my head using more foam, some webbing, and a buckle to adjust the size. Now I began to cut out all the other parts to make up the details of the mask. For this, I used a sheet of foam that I bought at the local craft store. I also cut out some panels of foam and recessed them back into the mask and secured them with hot glue. At the local hardware store I found this light which is the size of a light switch plate. It has two narrow rows of LED lights, a dimmer switch and it runs off of two AA batteries. I cut it up and added some longer wires to reconnect all the parts. I've not really done much soldering before, so it was fun trying something new. Once everything was soldered, I installed all the parts with hot glue and some tape.
I used this mesh from my dad's shop and spray painted it silver to look like metal. I masked off all the areas that I didn't want paint to get on. I added one coat of primer and two coats of Plasti Dip spray paint. I had also added some scratches and scrapes to areas of the mask to make it look like it had seen some wear and tear. Once the spray paint was done, I took some black acrylic paint and filled in those areas to give it some depth. I also brushed on silver paint to some of the edges and high spots to make it look more realistic. This was a really fun project. Working with foam is really easy, and if you have some time and a good imagination, you can really make some cool stuff. If you like this video, you should check out some projects by Evil Ted Smith, Punished Props, and I Like To Make Stuff. I'll leave links to those guys in the description. I really enjoyed this project and I hope you did too. If this was not your kind of project, feel free to check out some of my other videos because I'm interested in all kinds of things like woodworking, leather crafting, and printing. Please don't forget to like, comment, and hit that subscribe button. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.